My name is Sarah Martin and you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called Condemned. This is from RLJ slash Image Entertainment, and this is coming out November 13th, 2015. And it's directed and written by Eli Morgan Gessner. And in this movie is Dylan Penn, Ronan Rubenstein, Lydia Hurst, John Abrahams, Honor Titus, and Genevieve Hudson Price. And what this movie is about, about this girl named Maya, she uh, is fed up with her parents because all they do is fight and bicker amongst each other, and she's really tired of it. So she decides she wants to move in with her boyfriend who lives in Lower East Manhattan, and he uh, is squatting in this condemned old building, and uh, it's abandoned, and it's been that way for a long, long time, and all the tenants there are squatting, and uh, they don't want you know the police to know or anything and so they don't have like uh you know the garbage men don't come back up their garbage and and everybody in the building's different uh there's like uh each character is really different like there's there's uh meth heads a lot of them are meth heads there's a lot of junkies in this movie uh degenerates uh there's they're just all squatty and they're trying to like uh keep to themselves more or less some of them interact but they really just, you know, they don't want any trouble because they don't want any attention drawn to the building. And uh, what happens is there's this uh, a virus that's born with the combined uh, noxious, noxious, noxious waste from, like, you know, them going to the bathroom and that. And their garbage for all the years that it's been building up. It affects the building's residents and, uh, one by one. And it affects them in a way that it starts to change them. They start to, like, hallucinate and they turn into, like, these bloodthirsty, like, raven, ravenous, like, people. And, and they have, like, all these sores all of them over their bodies. And they just, like, uh, they just go to the... Uh, fight or fly flight whatever that term is they go into that mode where like and then they think like something's after them they see things like i said they hallucinate and then they start turning on each other and like you know the whole building like it's ended up into this like slaughterhouse it's like a savage slaughterhouse that they're all in and they all get locked in the building so they can't even get out so they all have to like maya and her boyfriend all of them they have to try to figure out how to get out of the building and and avoid all the bloodthirsty you know people in it that want to kill them and each other. I thought this movie had a really really great soundtrack. It's a lot of like um, like punk music uh, and and uh, you know a lot of like music like that like punk and like metal uh, like hardcore kind of music. I really really dug the soundtrack to this. Uh, it's definitely um, you can look at this it's kind of like Slime City if you've ever seen Slime City but it's not as I guess you could say it's not as colorful because in Slime City, you know, there was a lot of bright blues and bright greens in that. This is kind of like, there's a lot of green and, and yellow in it, but it, and it's totally disgusting. It's it, I do not recommend watching this while you eat. It's very, very gross. Um, the, there's some CGI blood, but it's done well. Uh, maybe like one or two times it wasn't that great. Um, but there's mostly practical effects, and there's a lot of like practical effects, like with one guy has like a, a pulsating like sore on his head like a bubble like a like a blister kind of thing and it just pops really really high and, and it's it's totally disgusting but it's like it looks awesome it's it uh, I gotta say I really enjoyed this movie I didn't know what I was gonna get into and I mean I'm a huge fan of Slime City but like it doesn't like rip it off I don't think um, there's a, a lot of like the body parts they just kind of like uh, you know they're they're stopping them like grabbing their hand and then the hand pulls off or stuff like that there's even a guy that like they're violently stabbing each other one guy has antlers the other one has a knife and the guy's like stomach gets like cut up so much that his guts come out and he's running around the building with his guts come out now i know that sounds ridiculous but i think this is like like that's how like uh, like i don't know how to explain it like they're on a high in a way like you know the adrenaline kind of way thing and the virus i'm sure helps but like doesn't even bother them they just keep on going you have to really like put them down you know uh it, it's a lot of awesome effects in this movie and it's all done it's a small cast which i like uh it worked really well uh there's not a like i i shouldn't say there's a lot of likable characters uh the one i like the most is a guy named loki and uh it's cool because he has this gene simmons base it's one out of 178 
and uh, the, it's funny, the, the girl said, oh, Gene Simmons? You mean like from the reality reality show? And they're like, yeah. And she's like, why does he have a bass? Why does he have a guitar? And they're just like, they just look at her. And I, and I thought that was kind of funny because, you know, some generation, you know, newer generation might not know who that is. But uh, they were, he, they, he was one of the roommates in it. And I, I think he was the most likable. And Maya was, was kind of likable, but at times I didn't like her. Um, everybody had likable moments, but then they turn and you don't like them. It, it was very interesting, and, and I never really had that where I like them, I don't like them, I like them, I don't like them. It's pretty crazy, but uh, I, I, I gotta say, I recommend this movie. I think it was was really a, a good movie. Again, if you're a fan of Slime City, you're definitely gonna like this movie. La, really, really awesome effects, and like I said, the soundtrack was great. Really great cast. A lot of uh, unusual characters, and uh, like I said, I do not recommend watching this while you eat unless you have a, an iron stomach, And because uh, I usually like to watch movies while I eat, and I couldn't do it with this one. <laughs> it was pretty fucking gross. But uh, that being said, look for this November 13th, 2015 when it comes out. It's coming out in theaters and digital HD. Uh, so yeah, I would, I would recommend this one. I highly recommend this one. I thought it was awesome. And uh, so that's it. So check out the trailer below for this movie. And uh, also any links that I find, I will put them below in the description. And also if you could do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to me, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks everybody for watching and talk to you later. Bye.